Hello everyone, today we'll take a look at the best tablets in the market for 2023. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I'll try to help you find the right one for your needs. To see the most up-to-date prices, and find out more information about these tablets, you can check out the links in the description below. Let's get started. Number 1. Apple iPad Air The best tablet for everyone. As great as the iPad Air 4 is, the iPad Air 5 has replaced it. It hits a sweet spot between portability and power. The new iPad Air 2023 is ideal for consuming and creating content, and its $599 starting price is within reach for many people. Thanks to the addition of Moan, the iPad Air 2023 is almost on par with the iPad Pro. That isn't to say the Air is now a Pro replacement, but the gap in power is considerably smaller. This, along with its relatively affordable starting price, could make this new iPad Air more compelling than the iPad Pro for budget-minded shoppers who still want the best iPad their money can buy. Overall, the latest iPad Air is an almost perfect tablet. While there is still some room for improvement, it's hard to put this sleek, powerful slate down. This is arguably the best tablet for most people. Reasons to buy. Thin and elegant design. Sharp, colorful display. Speedy moan powered performance. Long battery life. Solid 12MP cameras. Reasons to avoid. Peripherals are expensive. Number 2. Apple 10.9-inch iPad. The best regular iPad in years. The iPad 2023, a tablet that looks and feels new, and that's a welcome change over the last few iterations. We appreciate the sleeker design and bigger display. Though some may miss the headphone jack from the 9th gen iPad. We also like the Touch ID enabled power button, repositioned front camera and USB-C charging, as well as the upgraded to 14 Bionic chip and 5G connectivity. However, $449 is a lot of money to spend on this tablet. Yes, Apple is keeping the $329 iPad 9th gen around, but it still stings to see $120 jump from one generation to the next. Our bigger issue is with the Apple Pencil situation. It's just way too awkward to charge this thing, and there's nowhere to store the stylus when not in use. Do we think the iPad 2023 is worth the splurge over last year's model? Mostly, as this is a more future-proof tablet. Overall, the iPad 10th Gen is one of the best tablets. But we can unequivocally say that it's the best tablet for most people because of the higher price and Apple Pencil blunder. Reasons to buy Sleeker design with slimmer bezels Faster 14 Bionic processor Long battery life Comfy magic keyboard with touchpad Cellular upgraded to 5G Reasons to avoid More expensive than previous model Apple Pencil awkward to charge Just 64 GB of storage Doesn't support stage manager and iPad OS 16 Number 3. Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 The best premium Android tablet The Galaxy Tab S8 is good at a lot of things but it's best at being a premium Android tablet. You can use it to get work done in a pinch, but in my experience it's best enjoyed as a speedy all-purpose device for making work and play a bit more enjoyable. On the couch it's great for gaming or reading comics, and at work it's nice to have as a note-keeping device or secondary display, especially if you go to the trouble of investing in the Galaxy ecosystem and making your workspace to X friendly. If you absolutely must have the biggest, Baddest Android slate possible you probably want the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. But if you just need a great premium Android tablet the Galaxy Tab S8 delivers, and in the process, sets a new standard for what we should expect from the category. Reasons to buy. Bright, beautiful display. Excellent battery life. Great sound quality. Surprisingly good cameras. Decent laptop replacement. Reasons to avoid. Underwhelming performance vs iPads. Camera quality degrades at extremes. Book cover keyboard feels small, cramped. Number 4. Amazon Fire 7. The best tablet for those on a budget. For a lot of customers, price makes the big difference, so Amazon could have coasted when it comes to the $50 Fire 7 tablet. Fortunately, the most recent iteration of the company's cheapest slate packs a snappy quad-core 1.3 GHz processor, which helps you navigate apps and browse the web faster than you'd expect from a tablet this cheap. And while previous Fire tablets made you tap to activate Alexa, which made no sense, it's meant to be summoned with your voice. The Fire 7 finally added voice triggers for the digital assistant. Just don't expect any frills that come with more expensive tablets. The Fire 7 tablet's sub-HD screen is not sharp enough for anyone used to an iPad, and its lock screen is filled with ads unless you pay extra. Still, 
It's a great pick for kids looking for a media consumption device. Reasons to buy. Fast for its price. Hyper affordable. Finally, hands-free Alexa. Reasons to avoid. Lots of Amazon ads. Low res display. Number 5. Microsoft Surface Go 2. The best tablet for Windows 10. Sometimes, it takes a second try to make a thing go right. The Surface Go 2 takes aim at all the flaws of the predecessor and knocks them all down. First of all, thinner bezels make way for a bigger screen, arguably the most important part of a tablet. The Surface Go 2 has a 10.5-inch display, compared to 10 inches for the previous model. The biggest upgrade is the Surface Go 2's 11 hours and 39 minutes of battery life, which is over 5 hours longer than the original Surface Go. Microsoft also answered my prayers for a laptop with a great webcam. The 5-megapixel 1008 camera and its top bezel is great for the era of online video calls, and its second front camera sensor adds Windows Hello biometric login. Finally, get the Surface Go 2 with the 8th Gen Intel Core M3 upgrade. It's a little pricier at $629, but it's definitely the model for multitaskers. Reasons to buy. Lengthy battery life. Bright, vivid screen. Great webcam. Reasons to avoid. Unimpressive performance. Type cover requires adjustments.